About one third of the world's economy is currently in recession due to the damaging effects of COVID pandemic and the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. Or the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Kodun Mefiele, made this known on Monday while addressing foreign affairs and aviation stakeholders at a meeting with the Speaker of the House of Representatives over the crisis in the aviation industry. He expressed his pleasure over the decision of the United Arab Emirates, the UAE, to impose a visa ban on Nigerians as well as plans to stop Emirates Airlines from flying into the country. Correspondent Grace Ike reports. Gathered here are stakeholders in the aviation industry with one aim in mind to proffer lasting solution to the crisis bedeviling the sector, particularly foreign airlines. If the Russian-Ukraine crisis continues and the slowdown in China continues, that we are expecting in 2023 that the global growth will be less than 1%, which will be a disaster. And by that time, certainly, most of, the, most of the countries in the world will suddenly go into recession. Governor Mefeli was responding to the issue of $700 million trapped funds of foreign airlines who have threatened to stop flying Nigerian routes from October 28 if nothing was done by government to resolve the backlog. We're flying 21 landings into Nigeria, and yet a Nigerian air airline cannot fly even one into your country. Those airlines, they want to fly into your country, you intimidate them, you use dogs, sniffer dogs, to, to, to intimidate them, they cannot land. They, when they land, you do not allow them to do what is the most important set check, checks for their aircraft to be able to take off and land back again in Nigeria. You are, you are, you are, you are making life difficult for the country. Just taking advantage of a country of over 200 million people. He disclosed that contrary to IT's position that nothing has been done to reduce the backlog, the sum of $265 million has been earmarked for disbursement to foreign airlines through their various banks. I made a decision that, listen, let's just use our discretion to allocate $265 million to the aircraft, I mean to the airlines, foreign airlines, broken down into spot and forward, right? We did $110 million in spot. And then the rest in forward, 60 day forward. On that day, we are located to IATA, $32 million through UBA. This is aside from the so called 8 or 10 percent that you say you are getting, Mr. Fatukum. This is extra allocation which we use our own discretion to give to you. And which I have told you personally that we will continue to do so as to make you guys happy so you don't continue to blackmail this country. We have. With the, uh, with the central bank with regard to forward and sports that are matured since 16 of for some airlines is 16 of uh, of june till now account for one over 100 million dollars that cbn has not been able to redeem though they gave sport to the airline and the Speaker of the House of Representatives is of the opinion that the International Airline Association should accommodate the principle of reciprocity, which requires that Nigerian carriers are also allowed to fly into countries whose airlines have a huge market in Nigeria. I know that we on this side, I'm not putting myself on the side of the government, we will fulfill our own end of the package, not by December, and I know that in the next couple of days we'll hear from you. So we're calling the ceasefire. Um, Thank you, sir. I have problem with the speaker is threats. Every country, every airline will threaten Nigeria. We will not fly to Nigeria again. We are not giving Nigeria a visa. We won't do our operations. We will shut Lagos. We will shut Abuja. Please. Countries have been shut completely and they did well. And until these airlines reduce their frequencies, in order to give Nigerian airlines the chance, I'm not talking about air pizza. Max Air is ready to do international flying, even into Dubai. Stakeholders have been urged to maintain status quo as monies will be made available for payments in batches. From the National Assembly, Grace Ike Silverbird, News 24.